Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute jellyfish. Look at him swimming by. Isn't he adorable? And all we used to make him was a yogurt cup, some wire, some beads, some gorgeous tool and glitter from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. And this is a great craft for a classroom because when you get your supplies from Paper Mart, they're high quality, low cost, and you can make a whole school of these little jellyfish. It would be perfect for Earth Day or anytime you're studying the ocean or you know recycling because we're going to be doing some recycling. So it's just a wonderful project to share with some kids that you know. Let's go to the table and I'll show you how to make them. Here I have all the products I'm going to need. I got my little wire over there. Can't see it in shot, but we will be using that. First thing you want to do is wash a yogurt container. This is one of the Greek yogurt containers and I put it in the dishwasher, but I would recommend removing the plastic label before you wash it. That's not a big deal, but um, if you do, then you'll have a nice white container. I'm using a heavy duty hole punch to punch about seven holes around here because I'm using three different kinds of tools. I'm using one um, blue thin tool, it's like three inches, and I'm using a, a, a six inch purple and a six inch pink um, tool. So hopefully I have about seven there. And that will allow me to alternate the thin blue with the thick, um, the thicker color. So there we have our holes punched, and I'm using a big bite crocodile. Um, it's got a little bit more space between the punch uh, between the punch walls there than the uh, than the standard one does. But use whatever you have that will make a hole through the plastic. All right, so we're going to be using some of this lovely glitter in uh, purple, pink, and blue, and those are 99 cents a tube at Paper Mart, and it's absolutely my favorite glitter. Um, I got some thick acrylic paint, artists uh, Liquitex acrylic paint. I'm just going to put a probably about a pea-sized dab of each color right on the plastic. That way I don't have to dirty a, um, dirty another container or anything. And the reason I'm using the uh, paint in the tube is because it's thicker and it will stick to the plastic a little bit better. But if you have, um, if you have the craft paint, that's fine. You can use that. That will work just as well. And I'm just going to kind of mix my colors up and just give it a nice thick coat of paint. And I'm going to do this pretty quickly because I want the uh, paint to stay dry because I'm actually going to use it as the glue to hold our glitter on there. Now another fun thing, say if you didn't have these yogurt cups and you had you had applesauce cups and they're clear, you could actually just use Mod Podge and glitter and you'd have like um, an iridescent um, jellyfish, which would look really super cool. But um, my family just recently got into the Greek yogurt thing, so I had a bunch of these and I thought, you know what? I think I would like to make some jellyfish. Another cool idea for uh, for these jellyfish would be to use them for um, a party decoration. Like if you had like a um, a you know sea themed birthday party or like even a room decoration. And actually, I have to say they're really quite elegant. If you don't if you leave the googly eyes off, they're really really elegant. Um, it's amazing what you can do when you recycle. All right, so I've got my colors on there. Put your brush right in your water bucket. Um, I want it mostly purple, so I'm going to sprinkle that on first. Uh, if you put your hands in the middle and just kind of stretch your fingers apart, you can kind of hold it so that you can glitter it really well. Of course, I should have taken all the caps off my glitter to begin with. Let's do that here. Last night I was teaching a kids class and I had my clear glitter and the kids were being so careful and because they, they were afraid that that the glitter was all just going to pour out if they uh, when they dumped it on their little project and I said oh no this is special glitter you're just going to get the perfect amount when you use this it was do we were doing the shamrock a craft that I shared the other day on my YouTube channel um, there and look at this you get this multicolor glitter and actually what I would do is I'd just pour that right back on so if you're doing this in a classroom setting you might want to do your glittering over a bowl and then um, you know you can put it back in a container and they can sprinkle that right on too so you have that multicolor. I'm not going to pour that back into my containers because um, I don't want to get them contaminated but I can just get some of those little plastic punch outs there but I can just pour that right on top of this um, if I want to do that as well but I think I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to dump this all over myself, which I have a feeling that's going to happen. So we're going to set that aside to dry, but I actually have one that I prepared already. Wipe off my fingers. <laughs> I've got paint on my fingers. All right, so this one I already prepared. See how shiny and sparkly it is? All right, and I've got my hole punched already. So, um, oh my gosh, I still have paint on it. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is um, grab off about, I would say about three feet of tool. 
we'll start with the purple here and fold it in half. And of course you can make them as dangly as you want. It's completely up to you. But I find that three feet is great. It gives you one and a half inch uh, wisps coming down. And then I am going to poke the, um, from the inside, just kind of push. If you can see what I'm doing there, I'm just pushing the, uh, the folded bit through the hole. All right, and I'm pulling it out the loop and then I'll just thread the bottom parts through and give it a tug. All right, and so that's our first little jelly part. Now I'm gonna use the skinnier blue, do the same thing about, about three feet. They don't have to be exact, so don't worry if they're not. Again, fold it in half, push it through from the inside. Just like that. So you've got your loop and then feed the ends through the loop. I'm gonna do the same with the pink. About three feet, which is about, if you measure from your nose to your fingertips, it's about three feet. This is, uh, it's very staticky down here. I have a little space here going and it's so dry and um, this just wants to catch on my clothes and it's just so staticky um, because of this time of year. I think these would be so pretty hung up outside like during an outdoor birthday party. They're just so adorable. And then I would go back to the blue and then the purple, then the blue, then the pink and repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'm gonna do that and we'll be back in just a second to finish it up. Okay, I have tool all the way across and I have to apologize. I told you, I, uh, I punched seven, really I think it's nine. I need, no, I need eight maybe because I could have used one more blue one in there, but it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see them all together. But there we have our yogurt cup that's glittered with our tool. So the next thing we need to do is use an awl or a pokey tool or a paper piercer or something to make a hole in the top of this so that we can put a hanging wire in. And I'm just using my scrapbooking paper piercer. And then we've got some wire here. It is um, 18 gauge aluminum wire from the hardware store. Um, so you wanna use aluminum or copper, something that's not gonna rust in case you do decide you wanna use it outside. And I've snipped off, I would say that's probably a little over a foot. And then um, what I'm gonna do is push it through the hole in the middle. Now something else I'm gonna have down through the center, and I've got this really pretty paper twine from um, Paper Mart, it's like a raffia. Um, you could also use one of their metallic curling ribbons, would be really pretty. Um, it's completely up to you and what you have um, left over from other projects or what you choose to order because you do get such a good amount of materials when you order from Paper Mart that I try to pick um, items that I will use um, over and over again. So if you find you do a lot of gift wrapping, you might prefer to um, use a curling ribbon. If you do a lot of um, like handmade packaging like I do, you might want this paper raffia. So it all you know depends on what you really like to do. So what I'm doing is I just tied them together and I'm leaving a little bit of a the knot open because when I go in the inside here, and you can do this step first, it doesn't really matter. Um, I want to push that through there and then I'm gonna tighten up my knot, see? And then using a pair of pliers, I'm just gonna curl this around and that's gonna lock it in the center, but it's also gonna lock those, um, it's gonna lock my paper ribbon in there too. And that will be kind of like the, uh, sometimes like you see jellyfish and they've got those kind of like, stringy, fibery, you know, stuff. I don't know, I'm not a botanist or a, a botanist. Oh, good grief, I'm not a marine biologist, <laughs> clearly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They have that kind of very whimsical looking um, threadiness. And then I've got some clear uh, acrylic beads here in different shades. They're kind of translucent. And I'm using colors I've already used in my project. So here I have a really light pink one I'm gonna thread on. Then I've got this, um, pretty turquoise. These are the Urban Ice Beads from Jesse James. Um, you can find them at your craft store. I know Joann's carries them, but I don't know, maybe um, maybe some of the other big box stores. If not, use whatever you have. You just try to match the colorway that you've already chose for your jellyfish, and you're gonna be good to go. And so many pretty beads out there. And this way we're gonna have a really nice, um, durable hanging, uh, hanging loop, so it'll be, Functional and beautiful. And you can make the uh, you can make this as long or, or as short as you like. I think these are just so cute, hanging from the ceiling at a party, or hanging in a classroom. Wouldn't it be great hanging in an art room? 
I think it'd be so much fun. And you know, we're recycling and that's always wonderful. So here I'm making this strand a little bit longer than I did on the other one. Now um, you can make your loop as large as you want. I like to first make a bend with my pliers. And then I like to wrap it around something. And since I have this bottle of glitter, this will be a perfect little mandrel for my wire. So I'm just gonna wrap that around. And then I can actually hold it right on that bottle while I wrap this around. Sometimes I'll save like, um, you know, pill bottles and stuff like that to use as mandrels because they're free and they're handy. And you know what, if you're gonna do like a classroom full of kids, you know, do this project, you'll wanna have a bunch of little things that they can use and little plastic bottles are great for that. All right, so I do have a little excess here and I'm just gonna trim that. Now your three in one tool does have a cutter on it and that's pretty good. But I actually uh, like my little diagonal plier a little bit better for trimming because I can get a little bit closer and that way there won't be a sharp edge that's gonna poke anybody, just like that. All right, so this one's got a really nice round hanging loop. Now to finish it off, what would our little, uh, our little creation be without some googly eyes, right? All right, I got some cute googly eyes here. And um, you can use any sort of thick and tacky glue for this, or you can use hot glue, but don't let the kids use hot glue. Um, when you're using hot glue, you do have to be very quick. A glue dot's not really gonna cut it on this um, really glittered surface. It's gonna come off. Um, so use your, your thick and tacky glue or use a hot glue gun, but don't let the kids use a hot glue gun. It, it, it's very easy to get messy with a hot glue gun too, I will say. I use them all the time, so I'm very swift with it, but um, if you're not used to it, then use something else. So there you have it, how to make a cute recycled jellyfish decoration. Um, I do hope you try it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll help you out. I wanna thank our sponsor today, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.